Swedish newspaper, and we bet a good one. Thanks all for joining us. Thank you so much for having so, me. So I've seen a lot of speculation today as to what people in Sweden think. And my question is, I don't really know how you could get to the truth of that. Because in Sweden, as we were just talking about a minute ago, you can be punished, you can be imprisoned for giving an unpopular opinion. So in a, in a society that practices censorship like that, are people free to really say what they think? I mean, you, you talked about the Peter Springer, uh, Springer, the one, one of the guys, the, the, the policeman, yeah, that's the exactly policeman right, yeah, that, that posted something on on, on Facebook, right. but you know that that cause, uh, case was was dropped straight away, so he's not in under investigation anymore. And but he was though. He was for a little while, but then you know because someone because someone um, reported on him, but it, it was it was dropped. <laughs> right, 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 and I'm I'm glad he's free tonight. But he's a cop who said, look, uh, the majority of the crimes I investigate are committed by immigrants. And he was investigated by your government for a crime. I mean, that's got to have a chilling effect, to put it mildly, on people's willingness to say what they really think, no? But I think what, what you're talking about, people, go, people going to prison for, for, for talking about these issues, as far as I know, that's only been uh, nazists. Um, been what? Uh, nazists. Uh, bad people. Uh, oh, sorry, the, um, like uh, um, neo-nazists. And, and Bjorn, Bjornquist? Well, I mean, there are probably people whose opinions I don't agree with, but there are people, and you probably might not either, but there's still people expressing their political opinions who've gone to prison for those opinions. And that's just foreign to us here, but it, it has an effect on what people are willing to say in public, don't you think? I mean, there, ha there has been a, a discussion about what you can say in public, as, as you know, people are talking about here, what, you, what you're allowed to say and what you're not allowed to say and, 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 and things like that. But, but I mean, obviously, he, he posted this on Facebook and, and all the media reported about it. And it's not like, you know, you, 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 and, and nothing is going to happen to him. So, so, you know, that's... Well, but as a journalist, you can't be in favor of that, can you? I mean, people should be allowed to say what they think, shouldn't they? Of course. And there, people are... Um, reading about it in the media now, and people are discussing it, and uh, you know, it, it's all out there. It's not that. Um, well, I don't it, know. It, I mean, so there's a book called Mass Challenge, which is written by this Kurdish economist, and I think it's one of the biggest selling books uh, in Sweden. The Carroll Library in Stockholm, which is a real library, I looked it up, refused to put this book on the racks because, and I'm quoting now the librarian, library collections ought to be characterized by diversity and pluralism. We're basically just saying we're not going to let people read the book because we disagree with it. I, I don't know about why and, and if that's true that they, the, right. they don't have that book, sorry. Do you, but do you think, I just I mean, you're from Sweden, mm -hmm. you've been here four years, so you can tell the difference between the two cultures. If I were, were at a party of educated people and said, you know, immigrants are committing a lot of crime, so they're much more likely to commit crime than a Swedish-born person, which is true, by the way. How, how would that go over? Would people say that's true, or what? We don't. What are the statistics, or would they say, "How dare you say that"? I mean, in, right now, the situation in, in Sweden is that the the crime rate is actually yes. decreasing, and okay. there are some numbers that are raising, like uh, the gun violence, for example. But it's as far as we know, and what 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 studies show so far is that that is has to do with with people coming in from uh, uh, the EU, EU, the European Union. It has as far as we know what, what, what it looks like, that has nothing to do with, with, uh, uh, with the refugees coming in. So, so you know, that, that really doesn't really have to do with... Well, with I don't know. I mean, so here's the Swedish National Council. I'm not making this up. BRA, it's what, what Ami was just saying. According to their stats, rape was up 13% last year, 2016. That's a big rise. Overall, uh, crimes were up in 2016, 6.5%. That's one and a half million crimes. That's a lot of crimes. Well, that I don't know exactly where you got those numbers from. From the Swedish National Council. Yeah. Okay. The, the numbers that we've been looking at, and I mean, I'm, I'm not here to to defend, no, no, just, to, to defend yeah. Sweden or anything. I'm a news I like reporter. Sweden. I'm not against yeah, Sweden. Yeah. Yeah. And and you know, I'm I'm a news reporter. But yeah. but if you look at the at the overall numbers and what has been going on for, for in a long term, the the numbers are definitely going uh, down. It's decreasing. But uh, and and actually, one of the crimes that has been decreased the most last during last yeah that was that was rape but uh, also if you look at rape in a in a wider um, historical perspective or, or like 10 years or 15 years there are some periods of time when it's gone up because the the um, uh, how you the definition of rape and sexual assault in Sweden has been wider so more more um, more incidents are now considering being rape and sexual assault. So that could be one of the reasons, if you look at your numbers, I'm right. not sure exactly what numbers you are, but that could be one of the reasons why it's now look like, looks like it's been more of them when it's, when it's actually because just Because the definition, rape. right. Yeah. I mean, that, that, may be, that may be true. Just to, again, these are government numbers from Sweden. This is not something that I cooked up in my office backstage. Um, but the overall crime rate, they said in 2016, 1.5 million more crimes than the year before. But 
Look, I mean, the numbers are pretty clear. The Sweden stopped keeping crime stats based on national origin in 2001 because they were embarrassing. But when they did keep them, they showed, well, why else would they not keep them, that foreign-born men were far more likely, four or five times more likely to commit violent crimes, sex crimes, than Swedish-born men. I'm not saying they're all bad, but that's like a real thing. Are people allowed to say that there? In 2015, the, the police started to put a, a special code for, uh -huh. for crimes that was related to uh, this, uh, a lot of people coming in as, as uh, refugees. Right, to the new wave yeah. of refugees, and, yeah. And uh, what we've seen so far, I mean, this has just been a short time. Right. Uh, it's just 1% of the, of the reported crimes that has anything to do with refugees. With those refugees. Yeah, so it, it's not like it's been, um, um, I mean, this. You, I've heard you talking about this on your show, that it's been a crime wave or a rape wave. That That is not what, what, what we see in, in Sweden or the numbers that are reported in Sweden. Actually, it was as, as I mentioned, it was 1% percent in that in that study for those refugees but again 13 percent crime spike in rapes that's a lot i mean you can say well the definition has broadened okay but it's presumably there's still real rapes but but also another another um side of that is when they ask women if they have ever been sexually assaulted or raped yeah. the num that number actually uh, rise a little bit and and one of the reasons for that was that maybe that was things that happened way you know many many years ago and now they realize oh hang on that maybe was a rape and now they, they're saying, yeah, that, that happened to me. But the numbers of uh, women reporting rape and sexual assault, that has not gone up. Okay. I'm not sure I fully understand, uh, but I appreciate the perspective. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Good to see you. Well, President Trump's comments have put Swedish crime stats under the microscope, as you...